what you're looking at is one of only three confirmed interstellar objects blazing through our solar system ever. And the latest comet, 3i Atlas, just revealed something totally unexpected, hydroxyl emissions. In other words, the telltale chemical signature of water. Auburn University researchers caught this using NASA's Neil Garrels Observatory and published their findings in this study. Here's why this is making news. Practically every comet in our solar system contains water, but finding remnants of water on an object outside of our solar system like 3i Atlas is unique because it tells us that the ingredients for life are not unique to just our solar system. But it's more than that. 3i Atlas seems to be breaking all the rules we thought we knew. See, comets typically remain frozen until they get closer to a star, whose heat transforms their ice directly into gas in a process called sublimation. Yet Atlas was already hemorrhaging water at roughly 40 kilograms per second, a flow that the study authors likened to a fire hydrant on max unleashing power. The thing is, it's spouting this water while being more than three times Earth's distance away from the sun, in a part of the solar system where comets should be frozen solid, not transforming. Another interesting behavior of 3i Atlas is that it's zooming through our solar system at an unusually flat and straight trajectory. Some researchers believe that 3i Atlas may be the oldest comet ever seen at 3 billion years older than the solar system, while others estimate the comet could have formed 7.5 billion years ago. For context, that would be before the Earth and Sun had even formed out of a dust cloud. But more data is needed to narrow this down. What is undeniable is that each interstellar visitor has shattered our expectations. Oumuamua was mysteriously dry, Borisov was filled with carbon monoxide, and now Atlas is spouting water from seemingly impossible distances. For more science we're sharing like this, follow us everywhere at Today I Learned Science at T-I-L Science.